Well, just as I thought Rick and Morty couldn't get more bizarre, we get Rick Dependent Spray. Hello everyone, Jack here, and welcome to a Rick and Morty short review. So this episode is all about the fallout, where Morty, um, how should I put this? Chokes his chicken, and refuses to admit it until well into the second act. And it's not just any choker chicken, which we all do, but none of us ever talk about. He used a horse breeding machine. So if there's a lesson here, is never leave teenagers alone with horse breeding machines. I mean, he already did that with the doll in season one, so yeah. So when Rick brings a gallon of horse semen into the garage, Morty does not fess up that he probably made a deposit in there too, which leads to complete catastrophe. What happens is that sperms start to rampage, and in the end they are drawn to a giant egg made by Summer that actually became an incest fetus because nobody knew but Morty that that was his deposit. This episode is a laugh ride all around, with Keith Davids again returning to voice the president, Summer realizing that people don't listen to women, and Rick having an affair with the horse princess to add to the insanity. Yeah, this is one of the wackiest things that you will ever see on TV, or HBO Max if you will. And probably the funniest and most relatable thing of the episode is when the Sports Illustrated swimsuit model comes to ask Morty about the demise of her husband. She says that she won't judge her husband posthumously, but she ends up doing so anyway, even after she gave Morty a speech about being tolerant. But yeah, we live in a prudish society where we judge each other for expressing things that we all do. And I would be remiss not to mention Jerry's performance as the water boy this episode. Yes, he finally felt he had an important role. Isn't that inspiring? Okay, so I give this episode 8 stickies out of 100 horse nymphs. Try and figure out what that means because I just made it up. But you should definitely watch this episode of Rick and Morty. It's bizarre, it's stellar, it's a little bit gross, and it will keep you laughing in your seats. And in your sheets. But please, don't choke your chicken to it. Or tend to your flower garden. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. This is Jack turning off the TV. See you all next time.